our social environment affects our happiness. Hi, this is Andy from Calkine Media and you are watching Calkine Wellness. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications for our latest videos. How happy are we and what measures our happiness and well-being? Well, according to the World Happiness Report 2020, the quality of the social environment decides our happiness or well-being. This report is a significant survey measuring the global happiness of 156 participant countries. In 2011, the UN got inspired by Bhutan, whose fourth king first coined the term gross national happiness in 1972. After 2011, governments across the world decided to give more importance to happiness and well-being to determine social and economic progress. The 2020 report, which is the eighth such report, explores in detail how social environment affects happiness. For example, individuals who have higher levels of interpersonal and institutional trust do significantly better than others in many adverse situations like ill health, family breakdown, unemployment, low incomes and even discrimination. The average national happiness is measured by six key variables – GDP per capita, generosity, social support, healthy life expectancy, freedom to make the choices and freedom from corruption. The study is divided into two parts. First, the national average evaluation is affected by inequality, mainly inequality of well-being. Second, it was found for the first time that a more supportive social environment increases the life evaluation directly or indirectly and delivers good gains to those in misery. So what leads to positivity? According to this report, freedom and generosity have a higher impact on the positive aspects. Moreover, the absence of corruption, social support and freedom significantly reduce the negative effects. It has also been found that sustained positive emotions are essential for a good life. The most important feature is that positive emotions matter more than the absence of negative emotions when measuring longevity or resistance to cold. Finland maintained the top spot for being the world's happiest country. Its happiness score has increased and is significantly ahead of other countries. Denmark also increased its average happiness quotient and held the second position. Switzerland, recording a higher happiness score, jumped to the third spot from sixth in the previous year. Iceland, Norway and the Netherlands are fourth, fifth and sixth respectively. Thus, the top 20 ranks are almost identical as the previous year, with a few changes and interestingly, life evaluations in the top 10 countries are more than twice those in countries than that are at the bottom 10. Another fascinating factor is countries with smaller populations tend to be happier. For instance, the living evaluation of people in South Asia is far below their counterparts in Europe. Fancy that. Increased population in fact hurts well-being. Worry, anger and sadness give rise to an increase in adverse impact. So the 10 countries that suffered the most adverse negative life evaluation experienced a combination of political, social and economic stress. It is seen that a robust social environment lowers happiness loss, while its absence can be devastating during a negative situation. Now, if you like all this kind of information, please like, share and comment on the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to get the notifications for our latest video updates. For regular updates and information in general, log on to our website, calkinemedia.com. This is Andy Liu from Calkine Wellness.